To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. During the 1950s, the Pelicans, New Orleans' minor league baseball team, was nearing the end of an over 40-year run. Much of that time spent at the corner of South Carrollton and Tulane Avenues. Pelican Stadium was great, and we got to know a lot of the players by name. Some of the players, uh, uh, I think, were even from New Orleans originally, you know? So there was, there was a real affiliation with them. I remember going to Pelican Stadium. Uh, I was a school safety patrol boy, and uh, one of the rewards, we would get to go to a baseball game. Blacks were seated uh, along the third base side, which were really very good seats. And it, it was outside of Pelican Stadium that I met Jackie Robinson and uh, got his autograph. Pelican Stadium's location proved advantageous to some LSU and Tulane football fans. You would hear the train going by, you know, during games. There was a substation there. That's where we caught trains to go to Baton Rouge to see Tulane and LSU play. As we would drive to Pell Stadium, and parked there. You could catch the train there, and the train stopped alongside of Tiger Stadium. And of course, the, the trains were just rolling cocktail hours all the way up there. By the late 50s, Pelican Stadium's location became more valuable for another use. When the movement came to demolish Pelican Stadium, and that was part of this whole idea, of let's build this new Fountain Blue Motel, part of the new Tulane Avenue, that Morrison very much wanted to keep the Pelican franchise in New Orleans, even though minor league baseball at the time was really dying. And so he used a lot of his leverage to get the Pelicans games moved to City Park Stadium. But for those two years, because actually my dad worked for the park, I got to be bad boy for the Pelicans, uh, which was a thrill. Uh, you know, I got to wear a Pelican uniform and the, and the Pelicans had old Yankee uniforms and so I got, you know, to wear one of those. For New Orleans baseball fans, there was the added pleasure of being able to see some major league preseason games. They bought in the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. So there was a ball ball for the Red Sox. I'm kind of sitting outside the dugout because I don't dare sit inside the dugout with the, the Boston Red Sox. And, 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 and Ted Williams, who was pretty much of a loner, uh, he was sitting alongside the fence. He was working on his bat and he was trying to, I think, get the handle just right. And I think he wanted to carve it a little bit. And he turned to me and he said, hey kids, you got a knife? And I was just stunned. Here it is, Ted Williams asked me for a knife. I didn't have one. I mean, how humiliating could that be? And I just kind of stammered. N -n 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 -n. I was just so ashamed. I mean, I, I was just like, that resolved. I said, from now on, I'm gonna carry a knife for the rest of my life, which of course I never did. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.